Hey everybody, it's Boris Schlossberg. Let me take you on a simple walk through MetaTrader 5 platform. Basically, the MetaTrader 5 platform is composed of four key distinct areas. I'm going to walk you through each one of them. There's the market watch area over here that basically gives you the tabular format of all the particular financial instruments that you want quoted. If you right click on this area into market watch area, you get a menu and it will say hide all or show all and you can actually show every single symbol or you can add any particular symbol you like to this uh, little table that you want. The next area of, it, of business is a navigator area. The navigator area contains essentially a way to get a hold of everything you need to be able to trade MetaTrader 5. Your accounts are in this tree, so I have my account pre-configured. The indicators that you've installed or that have come pre-configured with MetaTrader 5 are in this particular tree. I'm going to just close it to show it to you. The expert advisors, some of which come pre-configured. MetaTrader 5 adds a few Met expert advisors, but of course we're going to install more. Come pre-configured there. And scripts um, come pre-configured into this little folder. So this is where you find essentially all of your trading instruments to be able to execute trades in a automatic or semi-automatic manner or to be able to lay down indicators on the charts that you have here. The next key area here is called the toolbox. And a toolbox essentially contains a couple of very, very important data sets for you. It has, it runs your, your current uh, balance in your trade tab. It shows you your current exposure. Obviously right now I don't have any trades, so it's just simply showing you my full exposure of my 10,000 Aussie in this tab. It gives you a history tab um, that will tell you all the history of all the trades you have done. And one of the interesting things about MetaTrader 5 that is different from earlier versions is that MetaTrader 5 makes a distinct difference or distinction between something called an order and something called a deal. An order is simply a desire to execute a trade, right? So let's say I have an order to buy your dollar right now at 11300. That would be a pending order at 11300. However, once your dollar goes down to 11300 and actually executes my trade, that becomes a deal. When something actually happens in the marketplace and creates a live transaction, that transaction is called a deal, and that, that transaction is going to be recorded in this history tab as we go forward. In addition to that, it has a news tab, mailbox tab, and also one interesting thing that MetaTrader 5 has added is the calendar tab, which allows you to take a look at the economic calendar. This is, by the way, always refreshed and always giving you the latest um, data and the latest um, information. So I'm recording this, obviously, on the 29th of October. Um, but anytime you log into it, you'll be able to see what, what economic data is coming up in the marketplace. Now, there's a whole bunch of MetaTrader 5 marketing uh, tabs that are over here that I don't want to really go through. Uh, but in addition to which, we also have the Experts tab, which will give you a running history of what your, what your uh, robot advisor or your expert is doing, and a journaling tab that essentially gives you a running history of all the actions that have happened in this particular trading environment. And then last, but very much not least, uh, is the Chart tab over here. And this is the charting uh, component of it. So basically, you have one, two, three four pieces of, of software that really comprise uh, MetaTrader 5. There is one other that a uh, few people really kind of use continuously, but it is also a key component of this. So let me just show it to you. It's called the data window. You can call it up through the file menu or just using the keyword keystroke control D. So I'm going to just hit control D right now. And here you see the data window popping up. And, the, and, and it's interesting. The reason why the data window is interesting is if you wanted to just zoom in on each individual candle, find out it's high, it's low, and all the various aspects of the indicators of that particular candle, or the volume, that gives you all that information. So um, it's useful. I really use this function quite a lot when I want to find out granularly exactly what happened on that candle. Uh, so you can call it up and then just get rid of it. It's not really a crucial component of the software. What is crucial is all of these components. And then, of course, you have the top ribbon, which controls most of the aspects of the chart behavior and your indicator behavior and allows you to place orders as well. Uh, in order to be able to run expert advisors, you want to make sure that the auto trading button, which is always turned off as a precautionary measure when you start the program, is turned back on. This will allow all of your automated robots to run. That's the basic idea 
of MetaTrader 5. And of course, we'll get into much more details in the coming videos.